And welcome fellow Spartans to part 8 of my Galatia campaign for Total War Round 2. So we continue and the situation is this, obviously Chimera have, or I didn't even realise, we're actually at war with me already. They've taken Ancria and so they've taken that city there and they are now on my borders. We got rid of uh, Sardis eventually. And the moment I did that, Chimera sneak in and take Ancria, so I've now got a new enemy to deal with. However, their enemies are plenty, and their enemies are close. They have got me, Bethania, and Pontus all closing in on them. Look at that. I mean, they're so enveloped there by the enemies, it's untrue. So we've got them pinned down, so hopefully that should mean that they shouldn't stand long at Ancria. Hopefully I can take it back before anyone else gets there. Um, they've got the two settlements in the north, but Pontus are moving in on them up there, so they shouldn't last for that much longer, hopefully, Chimera. So we should take them out in this episode, I hope. I've set the military marker down on Ancria, so uh, it should be a nice set target for Bethania and Pontus to uh, work on now to get to. And there is where the situation is at this present moment, ladies and gentlemen. So... We have two bowling slots available. We have got that nice little bit of boost in our economy due to Pergamon uh, rebellying over there at the city which we took. And obviously then us demanding they had peace with us, but we demanded money at the same time from them, which was hilarious. And they took the bait and paid up uh, handsomely. So there you go. That's why our treasury is at that nice healthy figure there. So uh, let's firstly... Let's talk about you and me. No, let's not do that. Let's talk about building slots. So we'll go for that one. We have the money now to expand, so we may as well do that. Now we have got a building slot available at Tarsus, which we do need to put as a military building. We cannot wait any longer. We need to do this and expand in that point of view because obviously, again, we're still facing the threat of the Sudduses down at uh, Antioch down there. So um, we'll go for the only one I've got to give us garrison not recruitable units oh this will give us oh, that's garrison again oh balls Calic skirmishes well what let's have a look at the tech tree here to see what uh, happens if we push out there it's not very easy to look at is it because I can't really see so get there giving us skirmishes as recruitable units god I can't even squad up now and if I go down to level 2 What's that giving us in terms of units? Oh my god, I'm terrible at scrolling. Ah! You piece of crap. Right, nothing again. Do you think he's again garrison forces? Oh my god, this scrolling is killing me. This scrolling is killing me. It's going to be the death of me, guys. What about woodworkers? Ah, that's give us ballista. And what else would it give us? Just ballista. Jesus. I need to just shut this out, guys, because if I don't do it, I'm never going to find out what we need to do to recruit units with, what buildings we need. Oh, this is painful. This is absolutely painful. Meeting ground, come on. Ah, uh -huh, hang on. <laughs> we don't get any units from them. Oh my god. Really? We don't, any we don't get anything from that in terms of units. Oh my god. What the hell do I go for then? I have to go for Craftsman's House and see what that gives us. If it gives us anything else after that, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> or did it that one or that one? Maybe artisan lodging is that? The, yeah, because I think these give us better units, certainly from bronze workshops and things like that. Yeah, this is the one. We'll go for that one then. We'll go for that one. Artisan lodging. That yeah, because we've got it. We, we did have it up here. We've lost it. I think or something happened. I can't remember now. Um, pit mine for. Hang on, hang on a second. Let's not just get hasty here. Public order is as it is because of cultural differences, so we need a temple, we need a sacred enclosure. And we'll go for a artisan's lodging again. Oh, no, we'll go for Yeah, we'll go for a pit mine here and we'll get an artisan's lodging 
over at Anchor. Maybe that's where it was before. I'm sure we had one. I'm sure we did have one. So these guys over here need to definitely convert. Most definitely need to do that. So Pessiness. These need to be converted to farmstead. Uh, righty ho then. I'll convert that to a settlement to start with, and that to a. Um, yeah, we'll go for a fisherman's hut actually with that one. And what we got here? Storage pit or farmer's market. That's going to affect our public order, which we don't really essentially want at the moment. So we'll go for that one. However, the food is a problem as well there. Well, we're getting a fisherman's hut, which will counter that. Let's just dismantle that for the moment, I think. And we'll dismantle that as well. And we'll see if we can put anything in its place in the meantime, to be honest with you. Because I think, again, we can't really afford to have anything that's going to affect our public order. Or our food levels at the moment, so we'll leave it as it is. So that's the situation over there. Getting all my bearings right now. Bringing the spies and scouts in to get themselves ready to uh, start their work on Chimera at Ancria. Uh, and you know what, guys? I'm going to end the turn because I don't think there's anything else we can do. We don't want to spend all our money if we don't need to. We'll probably get another rebellion over. In Pergamon as well, unfortunately, and Ephius as well, so we'll have to deal with that. But look at that, look at that again. Pontus have pushed in now. There's little resistance now from Chimera in the north, so if they lose that, their only hope is to add down Ancria and then we should envelop them as we are. Look at that, Bethania already having a, go, a little go at them. Oh god, I try and take myself away here now. Bloody hell, right, okay. Well, there's no way we're going to win that one, so we'll all resolve this one. But at least Bethania have had a... Oh, God. Bethania were in that battle, were they? They need to bring that large army, army across from Nicomedia. That's what we want. But it's opened up Ancria again. For maybe a quick surprise attack. You are wise enough not to sit idle yes, on the bank. Yes, but... But to take the fish... I want money off you fast. again. No, no. I've, I've, wrenched you, I've wrenched you from all your, your money anyway, haven't I? Probably. Yeah, 500 is just about enough that you can give to me. But we want an aggression back with them, the Pergamon. one. We had no qualms with them last time. So, food shortage is down. Rebellion imminent. And Gravitas do nothing for the moment. Can't afford 5,500 gold. No question about that. We cannot afford that. Sardis has been destroyed. Excellent. Rebellion is flashing at Ephius. We're going to have to deal with that in a second. Um, our anchor is just outside of our limits there with Massacre. Damn. Bring this scout across and this spy. Don't know where they're going to go with that army there. Because we haven't really. The Pontus haven't got anyone bar this bloody army at Sam Samasata. Where's the map marker gone for the army? Oh, they're actually st it's still on the army. Still on the army, sorry. Is it on them? Is it on them, actually? I want to make sure it is. Let's go to the uh, overview here. There, they're on it now. Come on. Go for it. Go for it with them. We can't let them uh, gain any more strength and take any more of my settlements. No way, Jose. Uh, okay, we'll have to deal with the rebellion here at Asia Minor before we can deal with anything else. So we'll go for a sacred enclosure and we'll go for... We've got the food coming, so that's not going to be an issue there, I hope. But we will probably go for commons here as well. To make sure that is all leveled out. Oh, the war horn, that would be good. Yeah, we'll go for that one. Six turns, but it's well worth it. Right, so we've lost a couple of settlements. It was going to happen, probably. But uh, we're just biding a time here. Biding a time. Here comes Pontus. I think they're going to finally have a go at Ancria. 
not Ancrea, sorry, it's uh, Antioch. Which will be flipping awesome. Yes, well done, Pontus. At last you've answered the call. And Bethania have had a little go at him, but again, oh Christ, I think they're going to try and take on Nicomedia now. Oh, bulls. It's all kicking off here. That rebellion's nothing. We can get rid of that in a second. Sardis, rebels. Till this, this trade agreement dissolved. Damn. Future shortage and ally confirmed war target. Faction destroyed the RDI. Oh, God. Bless their souls. Right, boom. Get rid of you guys. Now they are they're in a position where they cannot be treated anymore, so we'll finish them off now. Close them in. We'll resolve this one. 94% remaining forces. That's a lovely jobly. Hello, Rhodes. How are you? I hope you're doing okay there with your big Colossus statue. Kill the captives. We've got some Silver Chevron experience now, which is even better. Bring them back to Ephius. And we're probably going to incur another rebellion until we can get that sacred enclosure built up. Uh, right, I think we're going to have to get a Sarge ready and just spam out the Levy Freeman here. No, actually, no, we'll do that before we we'll move them close to the border before we do that. But then we've got minus seven here. Minus bloody seven. So again, culture is a problem. So we're going to have to bring them back. Can't do anything with them yet. And again, we're going to have to build here to, uh, to get this leveled out before we do anything else. Oh, that's great, that one. Look at that one. The Rose Murder one is the best one we can go for at the moment. Okay. Thank God we got some money from Pergamon before we finish that last episode because we've got nothing here at all if we hadn't got them. We'd have nothing. Ah, that's what we want. Bronze Workshop. Okay. Right, that should be good. However, if Pontus take Antioch, which it looks like they are, we won't have any problems on this side anymore. It's all to the, the west and north until we sort that out and then we can go east again but uh, at the moment it's all attention on decks here well a couple of yeah a couple of levy freemen would be required but yes yeah, as i say thank god we have that treasury from pergamon as we've been in real crapper now in the real crapper no not worth it yet we're not really in in range of attacking them so there's no point trying to take them down yet we're building there. We're building where we can. What about these guys? What would this do if we gave them and built on that? It'd give us growth and subsidence and garrison, but it's taking a lot of our treasury out. We want to keep a base level for the moment just so we've got enough in case we need to build or buy anything on the heat of the moment. We'll keep that as it is. We don't want to really waste any more money for the moment. Um, that would give us public order problems, which is the least thing we want over at Massacre at the moment. So another end turn, guys. It is required. We get in there. We get in there. Hello, Mr. Scout. Of course, you were going to try and have a look at see what was happening at Pessimus, weren't you? But uh, they've moved on by the looks of things. And I think that it looks like, yes, Antioch has finally fallen to Pontus. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. Oh, hang on. Oh, bloody hell. Nick Media have lost. Chimera, sorry, you've taken Nicomedia. Right. Pontus, respond. Please, please respond, because Chimera is starting to sweep across the lands like there's no one left, really. And we've got trade dissolvements being dissolved. So trade agreements being dissolved everywhere. Athens and Mass had undergone to war with each other. Jesus Christ, Bithania being destroyed. Oh, God. Right. We haven't got any artillery units anyway, so... Oh, faction! Whoa! My God! The once mighty Empire of Seleucids have actually finally been destroyed then. So that was their last remaining settlement at Antioch. It was worse than we thought for the Seleucids then. Well, that's fantastic. That's hopefully going to make my life a lot easier now. Oh, Macedon have been encountered, didn't realise. And they're already peed off with us, so that's just great. They don't want anything to do with us. Right, okay, fair enough. Okay, then. Well, public order is three, but it's three because our garrison are there still. Look at that, 18 for military presence. Right, so let's increase this again to make sure that is now 
brought down gradually. We're going to have to... God. Right, bring this army across as we don't need to worry about that side anymore. Um, yes, we'll just quickly get them across there. And get them across as well. And then we'll try and firstly try and go for Ancria, possibly. Go north, do that, and then sweep down to Pessinus. Probably have to acquire a couple of mercenaries in order to do that. And that's why we've got that base money store there, just in case we need to do something like that in uh, in a couple of turns' time, really. We could do with whittling, whittling these, these guys down, actually, because they are already wounded from battle. Yes, well done. And again, in fact, it may be better if you go for this way first and try and take on these guys at Pessimus because they're already whittled down, as we know. No, we won't do it yet because we've, we want to keep it as it is with the 1400 we've got, the gold. We'll keep it as it is. We'll wait for a couple of turns before we uh, strike again with that spy. Pontus are building some hell of an empire in the north now, so uh, I hope to God they don't start getting greedy and turn their back on us as we will be in the crapper. I think we've got we've got a military alliance with them, haven't we? No, 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 no. No, I'm not I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. If you want no, I'm not going to be defensive alliance with you if you're not gonna pay me anything for it. There's no benefit for me to for me. Oh, here we go. Oh god, right. We're gonna have to fight this guys because Oh flipping heck. Right, okie dokie. We're not gonna win this, are we? They've got some pretty decent units. They've got three units of skirmisher calf. They've got whatever that general is, it must be one of Champlu's units. And I don't know what those other guys are as well. They've got you say two hoplite units. So yeah, this is this is not gonna be easy, guys. Not gonna be easy. We can try, we can always try, there's always hope. But if it's a false hope, it is, but we can, I say, we can always try. Okay. Where are they coming from? No, not the right way. This way. We'll just have to funnel them off here, just hold them in this, this town centre here, don't this, this alleyway here. Which are our best defenders? Oh, these guys, the Glacian Spears. And the Glacian Nobleman. Well, we'll have to go for a mixture. Well, the Tribesmen aren't too bad, actually. Okay, well, we'll go for these. Really box him in here. Really get him nice and compact in that centre there. These two can just... Oh, no. We're going to use these to flank, actually. Flank around. Not them. They can just go behind the general. The general can just go behind to hold and give his aura of influence. These two can sweep around. The skirmishers can just go behind here. And then anything we can do then is, is pray into the hands of the guards, really. What are these guys? Noble Bosporian Cavalry. Bosporian Cavalry. Jesus, they will be fantastic. Okay, let's lord him in before we go. For, I mean, unfortunately, we haven't got any cav because having cav would have been fantastic to flank around and hit him in the behind there. But um, if we can just draw them in. We can at least use those two cav so those two uh, speed units to try and hit him from behind. Cleverly, he's holding his general back because ideally that's who we want to try and go for. If we win this, this is a big plus, a big. Kicking the side for Kamira and a big way out of the mess we're in with them. It could be the start of what we can hopefully push. Start how we could, this could be to say the start of us pushing back against them. It's a big if, and look at that. They've already spotted that. They've already spotted our units. They're bringing their skirmisher cav around to try and intercept me. So I'm pulling the units back. Hopefully they don't break off again. 
Okay, they're going for the charging with their hoplites, so uh, brace yourselves, men. Javelin Spirit units, can you get yourself ready? I was going to say, could we go for flaming shot? That could be a good way of just trying to bring their morale down. Because our javelins are already throwing into their units as well, so... Let's bring them back here to try and pin them back at the uh, opening there. Hold, hold, just hold. As long as you can. A couple of fire hours are going in, not many though. Jesus, not many at all are going in. General's got any abilities? He has, he has, he has, he has, he has, he has. War cry, the general. Battle with him, these guys. Second win, them. Oh, that's giving him a good volley against a uh, general there. That's dropping him in, him in morale. Oh, we've got also got counter cavalry tactics, but we don't want to really use that until we've got them into the battle, really. Okay, they're going to go for a charge. Try and go for his Syrian archers over there. Step archers, sorry. Oh, God. I think we've lost the left flank over there. Jesus Christ. Right, go in for the charge, General. Okay, put counter cavalry tactics on in case we need to. Okay. We're holding, we're holding, we're holding, but we're not doing anything else besides that. And here comes the general, from, well, not the general, but the units from behind, so we're in serious trouble now. There's nothing we can do. Oh, bloody hell. Had to charge him. Try and pin him down for a bit. They're not going to be able to defeat them, but try and pin him down. If we take the general out, we've got a chance. But the only thing is, we've got to take the general out, and I don't think we're going to be able to do it so. Now that even the slingers are starting to fall, the javelin men, sorry, they're going to start uh, wavering the second, which is going to complete, completely expose our rear. Point to fast forward, we're not going to get anything here. But what it does do, what it does do is give the army that's coming in from across over from Massacre the opportunity to now attack this city, this town, with their army depleted. So it's given us a chance. The more we can kill off, the better. Okay, try and go behind these guys if you can. Line up, line up, line up, line up, line up. Go for a charge. Set so surround them if you can. But wavering has started kicking everywhere now, unfortunately. Ah, no, there's panic everywhere now. Damn, it's all over. It's all over. Okay, close defeat. How many would take down? the most important thing. 229. God. Right, so that's that unit and army gone then. So I'm just trying to think where we could uh, we, we'll, say we'll bring that army across from Massacre, which we're already doing anyway, to try and take out the army that have just taken Iconium. Should be a little bit easier now that we've taken 229 of their men down. So we're in a better position than we were. Honourable death for our general, right. Subject gains notoriety at the wrong possible time, really. Really the most worst time available to start doing that. Okay, we've got a lot stronger units there than we had with our defending army, so we should have a chance here. We've got a couple of mercenaries and a unit of Cappadocian Cav. Increase these... Uh, Units, armor, and weapons, and then we should take Iconium back straight away now. We should, but we're going to have to fight it possibly again. We will have to in a second. We're going to encircle them for a second. 
Oh, there's a rebellion here. Ancria now. Go on. There she is. Go on. Take Ancria. That would really... <laughs> that would really annoy the Chimerians then. Might as well deal with this woman. A member of your family has been unfaithful with one of her husband's shield bearers. The man is furious and called for the right to take his wife's life. Yes. Allow him to do it. The wench should never have killed. The, should never, the wench should never have done what she did, so yes. <laughs> Take her life. Do what you must. Um, oh, let's use our spy, actually. Can we Can we use it? No, we can't. Because if we if we break off, we may not, may not be in range. Maybe it's just, I'm just risking this here. Break off. God, right. Have you still got ready to get him? Yes, you have. Great. I was cacking myself then. I was thinking it could be quite handy if she poisoned the wells first, and then we go back in for a, uh, a siege. Oh, dear God, woman. Can you do it? No, you're out of range. Right, never mind. Back in we go. Okay. Now, I'm thinking as well with this army here, Sure, if we take them away, we're going to incur a rebellion at Ephesus. The rebellion will be small, it will be manageable, it'll be easy to take out, possibly. However, if we don't, if we leave the army of Chimeria over at Pessinus for any longer, they could gain in strength in numbers. So we may have to just actually bite the bullet here, move away from Ephesus, take the city back at Pessinus. And then deal with the rebellion, which is going to happen over in Ephesus afterwards, basically. So, yes, we should do that. So, let's firstly do this battle on the field of battle as well, so we can see it. Bring swift justice back to our fallen general. And hopefully redeem the city of Iconium. Okay, start the deployment. Here we go. But yes, a much stronger force going into this battle now. Let's start the battle straight away because I want to see where the enemy are. Oh, I think they've changed the uh, layout of this one. It looked like this on our previous engagement, so slightly different now. And we'll go bring these units forward in that aspect there. Get the Levy Freeman to go forward there. The Galatian swords and Gallic warriors to go on that left flank there. And the Cappadocian cavalry to go on the left flank even further, just in case we can use them to uh, to, fl to flank them. But hang on, where are they taking those units? <coughs> it looks like they're trying to take a defensive position on the hillside there, next to the um, sort of Stonehenge-esque monument. Oh, of course, we've got our noble Galatians as well. Awesome, forgot about these guys. So bring them just behind the rear. Okay, let's move in, move in, move in. Just about there. Do like that left click and drag option on this game now. It makes it so much easier to deploy your men. And move them around the battlefield easily. Really does easily move allow you to do that. A lot of people seem to don't like that option, but I think it's a good option to have. It's you know so easy and accessible really. Okay, right. Men, are you ready? Are you ready for war? Cappadocians, which I do love on this game. Mercenary Cappadocians are just awesome. A shot cavalry on this game. So bring them around that left hand side there. Let's bring the levies in. Over there, go. Take the swords down this way. Go, 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 go. Hold, 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 hold. General just getting behind there. Right, hold here. We don't want them to. We want them to charge us. We've got a better defence than they have. We don't want them to 
charge him because our attack is awful. Ooh, ooh, dear God, that's going to hurt. Well done, Levy Freeman. So let them attack us. That, that's, that's fine by me. Let's push in now down the side here. It's okay, don't worry, don't worry, Mark. But they're wavering pretty quickly. Their light infantry are going really well indeed, so they are going to fall in a second. Let's push on, push on, push on. Alright, surround the tribesmen. They should fall pretty quickly with them having such low numbers. Again, defend, hold a line while these hoplites charge into us. We've got a better chance of winning the battle then. Or winning the skirmish, I should say. Oh, great through a javelin. Oh, that's peppering them down again. Right. Line up again, line up again. Cappadocian cavalry come in. Go, 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 go. Right, nice. Cappadocians come around here and flank these hoplites on the left. Okay, go, 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 go on the back. Go on the back. That's it. Lovely. I know it's a bit of a long way around, but it's going to make a more effective charge. Okay, go, 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 go. This is going to be this is going to be devastating. Go, 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 go. Oh, yes! That is brilliant. Pull out. Thank you. Reline, reline, reform, reform, reform. Go, go again. Actually, break off and hit these guys, these step archers. Because he's annoying me now, these step archers are. Oh, God, that's absolutely annihilated that, that charge. Absolutely annihilated, annihilated those step archers. Well done. Good, 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 good. So they're going quickly. Can probably try and break off and hit these guys while we're in the process of. Uh, no, they've broken off, so no, pull back. They've completely broken that unit there, that's great. We'll give another charge against the Hopolites. That's starting to panic them now, so we'll pull off again. Right, they're breaking now, so let's take them in to hit these step archers who've got no way of escaping. Honestly, how they got that way down there. And they're going to try and escape if they can. The problem is my Carpodation cavalry are quite heavy, uh, heavy, infant so heavy cavalry, so I don't think they'll be able to keep up with the step archers. But they are. Ah, right, they're giving us the option to attack them, I think. I don't think they're retreating. Levy Freeman. Form up just in front of the Cappadocian Cav. Pull back on that aspect for them so they can go on the left and try and flank around. It's not Levy Freeman, is it? These are Galatian swords, aren't they? Damn, forgot. Okay, go, 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 go. These are noble horse archers, but again, we should have a chance of taking them down. God, go, keep going, keep going. Don't. Don't, do not stop now. Dry them away. Right, those step archers are going to go down pretty quickly in a second. Right, they've gone. Keep pushing in, keep pushing in, keep pushing in. Right, pull out now because you are getting peppered by those skirmishes. You're not going to get anywhere with them if you keep trying to keep them, chasing them down. Levy Freeman, come through as we need to start using you as well now. As well as Mr. General. The thing is, these guys are not going to... They're going to keep chasing me back and forth, back and forth, and we're not going to be able to pick up... Pick, keep up with them. Oh, that's going to hurt. They're good to throw his javelin then. Caught some of them as they were treating back. Yeah. 
Right, just that's it. You've caught the back of them there, so you've now interlinked them into a battle. Or locked them into a battle. So that's good. Okay. Levy Freeman. Form up, form up, form up over here. Pull back a second because, again, we can't keep up with the, the chase of those skirmisher cav. Okay, okay, okay. Pull back and let the um, let the Freeman take over now. Okay, what we can do is bring the cavalry around the back. So they can sort of sweep around the rear of them. Gives them no sort of way to escape then, hopefully. Ah, hang on, they've not retreated this time. They seem to have stayed where they are. They've kept the ground, so maybe we can take them out now. Oh, this is better. Don't think they're going to retreat this time. Yeah, they're, they're going in for charges now, so only the one that remains now is the general. Wonderful. And he's already dropping in uh, morale. He's already wavering. Excellent. So that is a battle finally won. Jesus, I thought we weren't going to win this for a second. And he's retreating still, but he's going, he's going, he's going. He's got to break him in. He's fleeing the city like the coward he is. Oh, God, look at it. We can't... There we go. He's finally gone. End the battle. Close victory. Yeah, it wasn't easy. But we've taken back the city, which is the main thing. And we can now, hopefully, with that large army that we brought out of Ephesus, we can now take back Pessinus as well take out their main army they've got, then push north to take Nicomedia, which we haven't taken already, so that could be nice to have that as a, a new settlement to the faction, and then finish off by taking uh, Ancria back again. We're going to have a rebellion here, so let's uh, firstly get rid of these guys, spam them, so that gives us a bit more income again. This army will be ready to attack them next turn. Spy, start to poison them, please, again. Yes, well done. Good man. I think that's the only that's the only army they've got, actually. So once you've taken them out there, that's obviously they've got, an, they've got a city at Nicomedia, but they haven't got anywhere. I don't think they've got any army defending that city yet. So hopefully once we've taken them out of Pessiness, that should be a straightforward march down to Nicomedia just to completely finish them off in the south that is because they've still got I think they've still got this factions so I think so yeah I think they've still got the regions in the north they have yeah Pontus need to make sure they're gone by dealing with them but we can only do what we can down here so we'll end the turn once more and then we'll wrap it up for this part increase our general we'll go for keepers of the peace yeah Definitely need that for the moment. So there goes the rebellion that's risen up. So we should be able to again deal with them. Here comes Pontus. Hopefully they are now we answering the call. And looks like they're going to try and take on Tassin at is it Tenaeus or whatever it is over there. The other remaining settlement for Chimera. No, don't want to have a defensive alliance with you. Not at the moment. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, we know that. Oh, right, okay. God, that's given us massive influence. So what? That blackmail attempt that worked against me in a couple of turns before has now completely been rebalanced back with the... Uh, Notoriety event, which we seem to have gained a massive support in the uh, Chiefs there, so that's good. 
Alright, this is good. We'll finish these guys off. We don't need to even to fight as well in order to resolve it. 84%. I'm happy with that. So that's that rebellion. Squashed. Bring them back. So hopefully now, public order will start to uh, settle down. Go for that one. Scout, could you try once more to be so successful as you've been already? Ugh. Damn you. Well, this have increased in rank. It's not all doom and gloom. Well, yeah, we'll increase their critical success chance. Right, push in, push in, push in. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. They've got more units than we thought. Okay, let's break the siege off for a second. Try and hire a couple of mercenaries just to make the battle a little bit more 50-50. Oh, flipping heck. We're lacking any calves, so we're going to have to go for some cav, aren't we? I think that's the only thing we can really have to help with this battle. So we'll encircle them there. Looks like Pontus are coming across to maybe answer the call or take Ancria. Either way, it's going to help us. So I'll leave it here, guys. I'll leave it here. Um, we're going to have to see what's going to happen. I will fight this battle of Pessiness next episode and see if we can take the city back. Um, but I can't hold up much hope of it. Maybe we've got a chance. So the, the order resolve on the campaign map is sometimes, sometimes slightly ropey. So we may have more of a chance than we think. If you've enjoyed this episode, please drop a like. And we shall be back with part 9 very soon. And hopefully we'll see the downfall of Chimera in that episode. Um, but as always, please remember to comment, rate and subscribe. If you missed the previous episode of this part number 7, then do check out the description as it will have the link into that uh, part there for you to go and watch if you missed it. But until next time, this is Warrior Spider for now saying... Farewell.